sound. I know you I know what you're saying, no sound, Dana. Oops. <laughs> Hang on. I know. I don't know what some of you are gonna say. Danny you only done that to get more comments. <laughs> Turn on your fucking headphones, Dana. Your microphone. I'm afraid to go look because I know that's what's there. <laughs> I deserved that one. I should have had the headphones in. But I had to go make a cup of tea at the last second. Yeah. Ignore the trolls if they show up. That's okay. I don't mind them. They're like your pet little monsters. Is the stream looking okay? I'm afraid to touch anything. And because of the way that's all set up. I can't even see. We can have another. Oh, shouldn't have done that. I guess it don't matter, but. Here we go. Good to go. Hi, Cat, sir. Hi, checks and balances. Thank you. Candace. Sylvia. I'll put one of you folks as the moderator. If it gets a little rough out there, and you can just block them and delete them as they show up. Uh. No sound, Dana. Yeah, no. <laughs> Everybody was like, no, not again. I know, me too. Hi, Hertz, sir. Hertz, pa. Hence, a pa. I can't even pronounce Paz. I got to study that one. Got to get the dictionary out, break it up in the syllables. And oh, my goodness. Uh, there was another one, Scott Buchanan. It says, with TeamSpeak, you can ask Dana questions directly. I'll go check it out. I'll give you the skinny on it tomorrow night. Unless somebody already knows, they can leave me some comments. But I'll go check it out. And that'll be cool. Like, things are going to get a lot better uh, on this show here real soon, coming up in the next few weeks. I know I keep saying that. Are we getting sound now? No sound? Hang on. Hang on, one minute, just in case. I like it, no sound. I'll come over to the video. Oh my goodness. Uh, there it is, yeah. See, there's a delay in that video, eh? Yeah, okay, folks. Good stuff. Let's get started. I got a doozy tonight. I just can't wait. So, let's not. Let's not wait. I just wanted to mention that uh, TeamSpeak site because I've seen that there. And bringing up the folder, unplug in the computer, make sure I get everything up honky dory here, keep an eye on the conversation. And with my, oh, here we go. I better bring this one up. It's hard sometimes when you only got two arms. There you go, that looks good. That looks good. Now I got rid of the comments. I gotta look in behind the screen. Otherwise I get another of those crack shots. That was pretty weird shit. Looks good. Four minutes in, we still haven't accomplished anything. That's terrible. I'll put a little notation there on the video after for everybody else. You're welcome, Bob. Hi Steve. I seen the video. That's the one I was talking about earlier, but the mic was off, so. We live in a tough world, man. I'll repeat that sentence tomorrow night, maybe. ABC Australia, because it's pretty funny. ABC Australia, a former special advisor, says Japan is too scared to tell the people the truth about Fukushima's future. September 28, 2011. November the 2nd, 2011, Japan Times column, as the public, possibly worldwide, sickens over time, the truth will leak out about Fukushima. That's an excerpt from uh, Debito Arubdo, whatever that is. Kyoto radiation forecast can by no means be released to the public, decided the government on March the 15th, four days after. It showed a radioactive cloud could spread over the Tokyo year area. That was uh, March the 3rd. I know, March, March the 15th. 
April 9, 2012, secret Japan nuclear bomb program covered up using nuclear power industry. Enough to build an arsenal larger than China, India, and Pakistan combined. That's what they were doing there, right? These isotopes, see, they got no uses, only for weapons. That's all they got, and directed energy weapons and military, uh, you know, uh, space travel, space engines and stuff like that. That's what these isotopes are a byproduct of that industry. Because they're planning on going to other planets if they got to kill this one to drive us off it. One way or another, they're going to another planet. And they hide away 4,800 peer review academic studies every day. Hi, uh, Kaika Kavikia Taha Banru. It's pretty funny. Good name, man. What a girl? I don't know. Hi, Stetson. Hi, Nick. Pauline. I'm a bit slow tonight, folks. Let me keep going. The United States circumvents laws to help Japan accumulate tons of plutonium. Uh, April 9, 2012. That's a pretty interesting story that Japan had the secret Japanese nuclear bomb program was covered up using nuclear power, right? Because you, you can't make all these isotopes without the nuclear chain reaction. And so it needs a million gallons a minute just to keep each reactor cool. And there's a thousand Hiroshima bombs worth of radiation in each one of these reactors. I'm not counting the spent fuel pools above it. Um, hi Lisa, hi Duane, Lisa again, Argus one, two, Pauline, I say hi. So the secret Japan nuclear bomb program, they had a secret nuclear bomb, like I've been telling you all along, right? So I dug up the April the 9th, 2012 article for the night. These are all, I dug up all of these today. Complete information control, Japan newspapers receive frightening info that's covered up. Evacuees died from acute symptoms not yet reported. August the 16th, 2012, the journalists are scared. The censor uh, in Japan, translated, Japan denies censorship over nuclear crisis, AFP, Japanese government agency funding project to monitor online info about Fukushima crisis, around the clock monitoring of blogs on nuclear power and Twitter accounts. And remember, they spent just one contract was 12 million yen to censor Twitter, to censor it, to censor it, to censor it, to intercept it, to take it down, to hack their sites, like they've done with my site now a couple of times where they took comments off my page from people that I've been talking to for years. And uh, artists show up on my page and leave a comment, and I go back the next day, the comment's friggin' gone. And I ask them, where, you know, did you take the comment down? They say, no. Why would I do that, Dana? We've known each other for years. I've featured their mu music for years. So they're trying to show people, take away that part of my site about the music, even the comments. They're willing to go in and censor that when I'm not logged in. Friggin' monsters, boy. Around the clock monitoring. That was April, August the 1st, 2011. They were at that. They haven't slowed down. They only got better. They only bought more technology. They only invested more money in it. Because if you can't fix the problem, you need to shut it up. Hi, Joel. Wings for Widow. Scott. Christopher, hi. Huma. Checks and balances, hey, bud. To monitor the blogs on nuclear power and radiation issues, as well as Twitter accounts, 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 accounts around the clock to conduct research and analysts on incorrect and inappropriate information. Inappropriate. Who gets to decide that? What corporate entity decides it's inappropriate, whatever I might say or you might say? You get a shot in the head. That's what you deserve. You won't tell that to your friends what you're out there doing. You won't tell your parents what you're out there doing, how you're out there censoring people. Anyway, let's, let's keep going. Use of nuclear energy is a crime against humanity. Japanese professor, September 16, 2012. We have to think of this equally as the use of nuclear weapons, the nuclear energy. Because once these things are split in atoms, uh, let me keep going here. Uh, that was a Japanese professor, right? And uh, what's his name here? Yuki uh, Tanaka, Hiroshima, Hiroshima's university professor, historian. Link between nuclear weapons and nuclear power becoming increasingly clear, says Japan professor. July the 31st, 2012, the nuclear power industry, not thrilled people, are talking about it. We're talking about it here, I can guarantee you now, more and more and more, every single night for sure. We'll bring that up in the conversation. 
how there's a link, direct link, between nuclear power and nuclear weapons, Ray tries to disguise it. It's as simple as that. They say, oh, we're going to give you some nuclear power. And they're enriching uranium plutonium to make these weaponized isotopes, to make these lasers, to make these engines for space travel for a handful of celebrities and the rich and famous the people that sold you out, right? Like uh, Google, Zurich, Schmidt. I mean, that's the only reason they're getting away with most of this is because Schmidt is the architect. He's the freaking architect for the coding. You know, look up his history and you see what I mean. He was around when he used to punch cards into computers. And I got a friend of mine the same way, so I, I know what kind of skill someone like that has. But look at the education that creature got. And so he's one of the reasons there's so much censorship around the world. His software is imported in all kinds of countries. This guy is a monster beyond imagination. And I was here before Google was here, okay? I was here when YouTube was YouTube. And so I still see it that way. I don't see it as Google. You don't see ads on my video, you know, supporting Google. A link between the nuclear weapons and the nuclear power is becoming increasingly high, Tracy, Increasingly clear, says Japan professor, nuclear power industry is not thrilled. So we always got to mention that, right? Ah, well, every time you see nuclear power, you say, yeah, well, it's to make nuclear isotopes. They got, see, those isotopes should never be on this planet, ever. This should have never happened. We're, it, the isotopes we were using for power, we've been doing that for 50 odd years. We never needed to create these thousands of isotopes, right? And then they try to find uses for them in public so they can integrate it and we can never get rid of it. Now look what they've done, we can never get rid of it. It's murdering us. Japan is murdering their own, I'm getting to that. Hi 2012. Just make sure I say hi to everybody. It's one of those nights I want to say hi to people. Fukushima probe, nuclear disaster far from over. The government's evaded emitting meltdowns and delayed disclosure of the radiation data December 26th, Japan probe finds a nuclear disaster response failed, Associated Press. It's all mainstream, all top scientists, all top professors. I always talk about, I mean, I got so much. That's the better way to go. Huge problems, all parts of the fuel rods appear to have melted on all three reactors amid a TEPCO. Um, Shimbu, May 18th. Uh, May the 17th, 2011. Data showed the meltdown occurred at the number two and number three reactor of the Fukushima number one nuclear power plant. It's a military industrial complex, but they call it power plant. That's all, okay. Um, it's huge. So they admitted it then, but the next headline, Japan Nuclear Agency finally admits fuel has melted in reactors one, two, and three. Chernobyl was a 30% partial meltdown. And they pulled the rods back. It's one third the size of any of the reactors at Fukushima. There's a video below if you don't know much. It's about reactor one, Fukushima reactor one, two, three, four, five, and six, and about the air currents and the jet streams, jet streams, and also about the ocean currents. The very basics with the pictures, the original pictures, the proper pictures, and with the links under the video. And so anybody's just trying to learn or trying to work their way through everything I'm saying, they can't catch on. Hi, Newer Magic. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? I'm so glad to see you always posting. Hi, Bob. And Kurt, sir. And Elizabeth. And James. 42. Thank you. Here we go again. Japan's government withheld radiation forecasts to prevent cause and panic. May the 2nd, 2011. To prevent cause and panic. These idiots, these inbreeds, these traitors. They let the kids walk to school in it. You know? And they continue to do that. They let their own loved ones walk to school. They let their own parents walk out all in that, that stuff. When it was spiking for those couple of days when it was like totally... I mean, that's what you're supposed to do to evacuate 7,500 communities in Russia. That wasn't nowhere near as bad as this. And there's 9,000 square miles. But not Japan. They're not going to tell anybody. That's their decision. That's not their democratic constitution. That's their personal fucking decisions. Every one of them should be swinging from telephone poles all over Tokyo and Japan. Every fucking one of them. These are monsters. 
They made a conscious decision not to tell people to get out of fucking harm's way. But yet to have a tornado or a typhoon, you say, everybody better stay indoors. But when you have the most devastating accident imaginable, they decided that because they didn't want to lose power. In their little tawny fucking mine, they said, oh, everybody's going to panic. We're going to lose power. Our family tree that worked in this job all these years and passed it on to our little fucking inbreeds. See, I'm losing it now. Because this is murder. That's murder. Outrageous. Blatant. And their names are everywhere. It's easy to find out who was in office and who fucking done that. These are criminals. The worst type. You wouldn't want them in your community, let alone on your street. These are monsters. 100% folks. They destroyed that entire country so they can think they can collect their pension later on. So they can keep collecting their checks. So they wouldn't lose power. So they wouldn't have to fucking move like everybody else. And this is the result of destroying the entire planet. Radiation forecast was held by the government. December 29, 2011. Releasing it would cause unnecessary panic. The ministry decided such data would be unavailable due to loss of power. That's the Daily Yomori. December 30th, 2011. That's the freaking ministries decided these bunch of these bunch of animals, these cruel, mentally retarded animals in the government, right there, these inbreeds. That's why the government is so screwed, is you get all these inbreeds, inbreeding themselves, get their child a job at some other government agency, get them to, you know, take the, the money from the, the people and the, from the government's coffers and use it to pay for their children's education, their children's friggin' teeth. They use the government vehicles to lug their children around, even give it to their own children. And now they destroyed the planet, and in order to hang on to a power for another year, another two years, they wouldn't tell anybody. Do they think that people are not going to die? Do they really? They don't. They understand exactly what they're doing. They're doing this for a check. And, and, and they're thinking they might get their pensions. Once again, the radiation forecast was withheld by the government, releasing it would cause unnecessary fucking panic. Unnecessary panic. See, if you said that to me, to my face, you, you just wouldn't want to do that. The ministry decided such data would be unavailable due to the loss of power. Due to the loss, they would lose power. They would have had the ultimate power. That was their job. That's why they were hired, allegedly. That's why they were elected, allegedly. That's why they were voted in. Am I missing something? Is there something everybody is missing about this? That these handful of fucking idiots, dirty monsters, you better not come to my country. There'll be war crimes for you later on. We'll be looking for you fuckers. Because you killed the planet by doing what you've done. By all of you being complicit. By all of you fucking putting your heads between your legs to hold on to your jobs. You set in motion something that we can never fucking stop. And you're just going to hang on to it for another couple of years and that's okay. You can justify it by doing that. And so now you're in a rape in the fucking system. Yeah, one of those nights, buddy. Because that's some naughty... I mean, that's... I got no problem. That was changing his tire on the side of the road and I was down there. That'll be the last thing he ever fucking done, I can guarantee you. Oh! Cat ran across the road and I turned. I didn't see him there. <laughs> Fucker. Why Fukushima? This is the independent UK. Great Brittany. Why Fukushima is worse than Chernobyl? 72,000 times worse than Hiroshima. That's their estimate. 72,000 Nagasaki bombs, Hiroshima bombs, 72,000 bombs worth of radiation released into the environment just in the first couple of days from those three melted reactors. you got to remember, uh, Unit 3 was MOX fuel. That's 2 million times more dangerous than any other reactor on the planet. That makes it 18 million times more dangerous than Chernobyl, which was one-third of the size. We're not, counting, we're not even counting the fuel pools. Those rods... There's 80 bundles, 80 rods in a bundle, and the stories are back and forth, but 1,535 bundles, that's 122,000 rods. A rod this big will kill everything 
in this room every hour till the end of time. But if I was to fill this room up with seawater, the uranium in that would never kill nothing. If I was to fill this room up with bananas, the natural background radiation of banana would never kill nothing. If I was to fill this room up with rocks, the natural background radiation of those rocks can't kill anybody. How come? How come they use that in the equation all the time with uranium-234, uranium-235, plutonium-249, the strontium, the cesiums, the iodine that they never mentioned, 129, which got a 15 million year half-life. Every time you hear the words radiation was found somewhere, remember the reactors run on uranium and plutonium. So if one showed up, the other one had to show up too. But they don't want to cause unnecessary panic because they'll lose fucking power. That's their, that's their little uh, sentence that they're going to keep using. We'll destroy that. That's their job. It's not their job to say, oh, we're not going to tell anybody because it's caused unnecessary panic. That's what you're supposed to do is say, don't panic. We're going to help. It's as simple as that. That was your job. But you're so busy stealing everything for your pensions and your children's uh, future jobs and college funds that you can't stand the thought that you got to take some of the money now and actually spend it like you're supposed to. That's why the system is in dire straight and heart attack mode anyway. It's because you're robbing it. The government itself is just robbing that country and every other country. It's 72,000 times worse than Chernobyl. 72,000 times rather worse than Hiroshima. It had that much radiation released on this planet right during a big bang, bang, and bang. It's the ultimate betrayal to their own family, to their own children. Because their own children are getting poisoned every day. Their parents are getting poisoned. Their husbands and their wives are getting poisoned every day too. So they're going to have a fucking paycheck. Because they're too stupid to stand together. They're too stupid to do the right thing. So they say, fuck it. Because they're too lazy. What is it? What is it? They should be hanging. Every one of them should be wake up tomorrow morning. People are hanging all over fucking Japan. There should be the headlines everywhere. The whole country fucking snapped and hung every fucking one of them. Well, the rest of the world would head down there to help them. We fixed fucking Fukushima. 4,800 universities working on it. Peer review academic studies every day. Won't take as long to put a dent into that problem. You got to get rid of that problem you got down there. It already murdered you. Don't feel bad. Fukushima forecast shows cesium-137 and iodine-131, which is code word for 129 with a half-life of 15 million years and a full life of 150 million years times 10. And cesium-137 is 300 years. Whoa, you know, the cesium went over here. What about the fucking plutonium? What about the uranium-234 and 235? Where the fuck did that go? I suppose that just fuck it, fuck it. Just disappeared, right? That's why you never hear it, because it just evaporates, does it? The real scary stuff is the cesium-137 and the iodine-131. That's what you hear in all the fucking media. You burn those fuckers down. A bunch of fucking lawyers. Man, am I pissed off tonight. I'm so fucking pissed. These creatures. This is sickening. Published April of 14, 2011. Government may have delayed level 7 rating to ease people into the harshness of reality. Yeah, well, when the fuck are they going to get around to it? Easing them into the harshness of the reality. Why do I got to come here every fucking night and do this? I'll ease you into your harshness of fucking reality. You pricks. The Yoshimori Shimbu, April 14th. Japanese expert. Let me say that again. Government may have delayed level 7 rating to ease people in. May have. May have. This was a, this was a conspiracy of sick, demented, twisted. I can't call them people. Humans wouldn't do that to other humans. Monsters. That's why I keep using the terminology creature and monsters. Because they don't fit in to my paradigm of what a human does. They don't do shit like that for a paycheck. How fucking good is your paycheck? Is it worth your loved ones and your parents' death? Is it worth liquidating all your assets in the future to pay for a fucking cancer treatment? Is that what it's worth? Because you're too stupid 
You just got to go along like a sheep and jump off the cliff with the rest of them. It's the stupidest society imaginable that a government would collude to do this. Let me keep going. Fukushima forecast showed large radiation clouds over U.S. West Coast April the 14th and the 15th. That was April the 14th, 2011. That was Norwegian Institute for Air Research. XC-133, which is code word for plutonium and uranium. I'm sorry, folks. I'll, I'll knock it down. CCM-137 forecast shows near surface radiation cloud over Texas, western U.S., on April the 15th and the 16th. I'm ready to take this computer right now and bang it. I really am. That's how angry I am. I'm ready to smash that right now. There's no use in it, of course. But that's how angry I am. That was the environmental research at the University of Cologne, April the 14th. The Northern Hemisphere near surface fucking clouds. Because Japan not only poisoned their own country, they had to poison all of us too. And think we won't fucking understand it and try to bury it with radon. From the Alex Jones show, now everybody else is repeating it with Chris Busby's fucking head mounting off out there. Oh, it's radon! It's radon! What, do you think the cesium just, like, jumped out of the ground and went away? Do you think the uranium went away? Do you think the plutonium went away? Busby? Jones? The rest of you fucking monsters out there, the PR firms? I'm talking to all of you. I want to see all of you fucking hanging so bad. You have no idea what I'd give to see a fucking bunch of you wake up and see that in the news. People hanging. Because that's what's coming. New York Times. Devastating government failure. Entire communities exposed to harmful radiation. December 26, 2011. New York Times. Devastating government failure. Time to take your governments back. They done it to us in Canada. They done it to the Americans. They only got 65,000 TSA. You got 300,000 fucking, 300 million handguns. Go fucking take your country back. Fuck them. Fuck all of them. They all hit it. They all colluded. They're all out there fucking lying. You got 300 million handguns. They got 65,000 TSA. Fucking joke. Take your country back. Don't put up with it no more. Don't fucking take it anymore. Fuck them. Who the fuck did it ain't there? You think Canada won't be long taking its country back when you piss it off? It's coming, man. These fuckers right now, they're hiding like cowards. That's what they do. They hide. Because they know what they got done. And they know we're fucking coming for them. That's a fact. They poison everybody in the Northern Hemisphere. They're not getting away with it. Japan's not getting away with it either, fuckers. Radioactive particles from Fukushima like poison gas. April of tw August 27th. April 11th, cesium-137 forecast shows high-altitude radiation clouds. High-altitude high on the ground. Jet streams are full, excuse me. Concentrating over California in western USA on April the 12th. Once again, um, that's the research from the University of Clog on April 11th. Large radiation cloud nearing California on April 11th. Published April the 7th. The Norwegian Institute for Research. Unpublished radiation forecast shows much larger cesium-137 cloud over North America. April the 19th. You know, what do you need? Because when you hear one CC-137, you know, large radioactive clouds, that's plutonium, uranium, these buckyballs, and there's peer-reviewed studies links below. Our governments, and there's not many of them, it wouldn't take us long to hang all of them. We can get it all over in a couple of days. Just leave the fucking bodies up there and let them rot for the ones we uh, re-elect. That's what they deserve. That's what we need to do. I mean, the verdict is already here, look. Night after night for 90 days. The verdict is well established that these people knew what they were doing and they colluded to keep this information away from us. That's a fact. And Japan done it first off. Japan done it to its entire, even to their own loved ones. Done it to their own family members. Done it to their own children. 
their own their own spouses, their own parents, their cousins, their aunts, their uncles, rather than deal with it. Rather than do what they were hired to do, what they were elected to do. And there's not a fucking person out there with a set of balls on them. I can't find anybody out there with any fucking balls. With any backbone. That's honest. That will sit here and read these headlines on mainstream media. Look what I'm doing. How fucking hard can it be to do it? If I could do it. Unpublished radiation forecast shows much larger CC-137 cloud over North America April 19th. Don't be a chicken, the mayor tells the parents who are concerned their children are eating radioactive lunches outside of Fukushima. Mayor Takeo Abe, uh, September 11th, 2012. Don't be a chicken. Um, October 11th, increasing number of horrified parents in Tokyo area as young children enjoy radioactive autumn outdoors accused of being monster parents if they're concerned. See, that one should be hanging. That's not a human. That's not a human that would sit there and say that to a parent. That shouldn't be on this planet. Just like those super tornadoes we've seen hit the Philippines. Shouldn't be on the planet. 100 mile wide F4 tornado is not supposed to be on Earth. And took out 44 provinces in the Philippines. That's why you got to take it serious what's happening here. It's not only all these radioactive endless clouds into the ionosphere and the atmosphere and the troposphere getting circumvented all around the planet repeatedly and then getting followed out with snow and rain repeatedly and we don't even get iodine we don't even get uh, nutrition put back into our food GMO has all the nutrients taken out of its food and then it has glossophates and formaldehydes engineered into it so you can't even uptake your nutrients and then your shops and your supermarkets are full of that and then they don't even tell you there's radioactive fallout. So not only is your body depleted of all the natural minerals and nutrients, but they don't even tell you to get out of the way. They don't even tell their own loved ones to get out of the way. They just say, fuck it. I say, fuck it. I say, fuck it. Let's hang them. Every fucking one of them. Not quick enough. We gotta do it like on a one day, just go get them all, hang the fuckers. Just fuck all of them. There's a lot more of us. Look at Americans. 300 million handguns. Hundreds of millions of rifles. Hundreds of millions of shotguns. 65,000 TSA. You tell me who's going to come out on the win and end. It's a fucking joke. We're 5,001. We'll demolish them in a heartbeat. And I can guarantee you this one is ready to go. Japanese mayor says students are gaining knowledge by eating radioactive food in school lunches. I'll make you the fucking hangman's knock for that fucking creature there, law. You ready to go hang that? You tell me I'll make you a fucking hangman's knock for him. Nice one. I'll splice it up real party. Fuck, I'll come down there. That should be hung. Because there's a lot of people out there who are stupid enough to believe that. That doesn't deserve to be on a fucking planet. After what they got done to this planet? I'm fucking sick of it. Shocking. Official made it mandatory to use Fukushima rice in school lunches. Officials made it mandatory to use Fuku... Hang those fuckers right now. Hang them. What are you waiting for? Get your fucking... Man, I'm so pissed off. I'm so... I'm just so angry at this stage. And fuckers out there ragging my fucking name. Don't have the fucking balls to put out a video like I'll do. Just PR firm cowards. They gotta be hung. All of these fuckers gotta be hung. That's the only way forward. We gotta hang these fucking bastards right now. Hang our governments. Every fucking one of them. I'm telling you, man. What they done. I got 300 headlines to go to. I'm not going to get through, obviously. But I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds I've been through in the last 90 days. And every one of them, our governments, fucked us. 
Gave us cancer. Never even told us to stay the fuck indoors. We hired them to do that job. We elected them to do that job. And I'm not going to fucking take anything less. I want them fucking prosecuted. I want them swinging. I don't give a fuck if it's by a vigilante mob with a fucking tire around them. Set it on fire. I don't give a fuck. Murder our entire country. Murder Japan. Murder the Americans. Destroy the Philippines. What's next with those storms coming? Wrecking carnage on our planet. Won't fucking give it up. Saying fucking Iran's a threat. They're surrounded by 49 American fucking bases. Shut your fucking yaps. And here's the Japanese official made it mandatory to use Fukushima rice in school lunches. You tell me that's not a monster. That that should be hanging. Fucking. New type of Fukushima forecast shows radioactive cesium iodine. Where the fuck did the plutonium go? Where the fuck did the uranium go? Why don't you fuckers ever mention those words? Should hang you too while we're at it. Fucking cowards. Norwegian Institute. Because they're not allowed to do research on that. They're not allowed to talk about cesium fucking iodine. Interviewing Fukushima, a lot of police are dead, but it's not reported. When the radiation workers die, they are marked as missing. You see what kind of cruel and inhumane fucking system that is? Don't come to Canada, you fuckers. We don't want you in Canada ever again. Ever. You're fucking monsters. The Nazis got nothing on you. Nothing. You're worse. You're a hundred thousand times worse than any Nazis. What they ever fucking tried to do. You're the epitome of everything evil. Our government, Canada, the Americans' freaking government, and Japanese in particular, are literally the evilest things imaginable. We gotta hang these fucking people. That's the bottom line. Legal expert, three police died of acute leukemia after being sent to Fukushima, January 11th. Right now everybody's just, oh, you know, I gotta keep everything going, gotta get home and watch TV, gotta punch in the fucking nine to five. What, you think your pension's gonna be there in a couple of years when this shit hits the fan? Do you got any idea over 90 days what we've exposed that's really going on here? There's 60 holes in the bottom of the Fukushima type reactors. There's like 28 of them in America. And it makes a core melt through. Simple. September 20th, 2011. The fuel only had to go through a thin pipe. Not inches of steel. Like you got to realize what's really truly going on here. This is an assault upon not only water, but every species of life on this planet. This is a direct, slow kill, but now a fast kill, upon every species on this planet, bar nothing. And it's well known who's behind all of this, which companies, who's the big monies behind all that. Don't let them fucking get away with this. Don't let them fucking get off this friggin' planet, ever. We're, we're, don't let them get off this planet, that's the major thing. But what they're trying to do now is build up this police state, try to bring in this control grid. And there's not, they just can't get enough people to do that job. So they're trying to delay it till the robotic industry can do the job for them. Because that's what they're intending to do. They're intending to destroy everything on this planet. And then take the technology that our loved ones develop and they lock up and use that to get away. They're truly like that. And now they're maniacal because this is going on and they're in panic mode. Britain just made it a law that you can't do anything. It's, it, or the police can just give you a ticket. No matter what it is, they can construe it any friggin' way they want now. There's no way you can escape it. There is no such thing. And, and that's because they got Sellafield, which is just like a little Fukushima, running around it for so many years now. And that they're afraid people are going to wake up and panic. They don't realize it, that they can't control it, and they just can't control it. And the government is not going to shoot on its own. They'll be wiped out in no time at all. And so we're going to have them. That's what's going to end up happening. 
as people start to, and it could happen in a three or four day period where people snap. And I'm going to have a big list and I'll be fucking out there every day. Get this one. It'll be just like Rwanda all over again. Japan blog author claimed medical workers said malformed bay babies are being declared as stillborns or miscarriage. They're at it nonstop trying to hide it. Japan nuclear professor Fukushima smokestacks are releasing radiation on a daily basis. They tell you, oh no, no radiation coming out of there. August 22nd, 2012. September 20th, 2011. Groundwater now flowing in the Fukushima reactor building via cracks in the walls up to 500 tons a day. 500 fucking tons of extraordinarily radioactive a day. But, you know, there's 300 tons a day getting out, right? Don't bother mentioning about the water running underneath it from the riverbed. Don't bother mentioning about the aerosol being released constantly because you can't get near it for a couple of hundred years. And then the constant release that you've had out there, the explosions, how much that released, how much is the, the ocean is actually destroyed. It's completely destroyed. It doesn't get diluted, it disperses. Even if uh, isotopes are falling down, radiation is falling down, it never stops the energy for 4.5 billion years. Because we're not talking about strontium, we're not talking about iodine, we're talking about uranium, plutonium. Because all those other words, that's a distraction. They're not allowed to say the words plutonium. They're not allowed to say the words strontium unless they use it in a number for a weapon or something like that. They can't tell the truth. They're incapable of telling the truth. And now that the lies are so blatant, it's so blatant. Tokyo uh, Kyoto nuclear professor, there is no longer any such thing as clean and safe food after radiation from Fukushima spread around the planet. The planet, May the 4th, 2012. People who advance nuclear power should be made to eat the extremely contaminated items. Then we hang them. So their last meal is a, is a 40 million Beckwell liter of water and 2 billion Beckwells per cubic centimeter of uh, sushi. And just before they die, we pull them off their fucking head of their chair on the table and we hang them. And we put that video up on YouTube. Everybody get to enjoy it. Maybe we'll have some good old healing going on after that. Collusion. Relationship between the government and nuclear power industry. August the 1st, 2011. The main Nietzsche daily news. The collusive ties between government and power companies. They're one and the same. Tokyo, TEPCO rather, is Japanese government. They own 50% of the shares, that's a minute. But because they're the money, they're calling all the shots, they're bringing in the military, allegedly. The accusers are getting the homeless and the most marginalized of society. And it's, it's, it's a humiliation of that humanity has reached this stage where they're going to destroy the planet because we, we won't hang them and fix the problem ourselves. We don't have to necessarily do it in that order. But... That has to be done. Um, when in doubt, hang them all. Fuck them. They all conspired now. There's no doubt about it. 90 days. 90 days. It's, it's endless. How did every country has conspired to keep this fucking silent and to lie to you and manipulate you and try to inject the words radon as if that had something to do with... Uh, Iodine 129 with a 15 million year half life, or the uranium with a 4.5 billion year half life, or the plutoniums, and there's many types of plutonium, but the 249 with a 24,000 year half life, 24,000 years. But it's it's it gets into your body, it sequesters in your body so readily, so quickly, and it puts out so much energy. It's a fast death, a hard one, a brutal one, a painful one, and it's. You know, we can't sit here and let this happen any longer without trying. The time the time to ask and beg and whine is over. It really is. After 90 days, I've been pushed too far. I want to see these fuckers hanging now. I can't take it anymore. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll hire 100 people and we'll get ready making these fucking hanging ropes. We'll send them all out to wherever these fuckers run away to. And we'll just... Have our one world government where we get rid of all of these fuckers at the one world time. Right around the world. 
And we take all the universities and institutions and we put them to work to solving all the issues on this planet. And we move on. Instead of government, we hire somebody to do a fucking job. Fuck the government. The stupidest thing we ever came up with. What have they done for us? Never told us a fucking thing where our children went to school. Walking through radiation clouds. You fucking bastards. You fucking monsters. I hope all of you fucking hurt. I really fucking do, buddy. After 90 days, I can't deny anymore. I can't hold back the rage anymore. You push me too fucking far now. It's not bad enough I spend every waking moment studying this and researching this and listen to every lecture on the fucking planet. But now you've really done it to us. You managed to get all of our governments to fuck us at the one time. Well, we'll be looking to reciprocate that one. I can be sure in you from here on out. No more Mr. Fucking Nice Guy here. The best thing you can do is get rid of the, anything that's pro-nuclear. Give it a shot in the fucking head and tell it to smarten up. If it does it again, run it fucking over. Reactors could break like glass during accidents because of the way the neutrons affect steel. Like there's every flaw imaginable in these fucking things. There's nothing good about it. Germany produces 50% of its power in the midday sun with solar. The equivalent of 20 nuclear power plants. We don't need nuclear power plants. They need nuclear power plants to make their weaponized isotopes. We've been using isotopes to make power 50 years ago that are not dangerous. They only got dangerous when they got really big. They only got big because there's monsters out there that are going to see the end of a rope real fucking soon. Because this planet has had enough. It can't take this anymore. Japan is not going to do their fucking job. It's time to really get fucking angry. It's really time to get back in their faces now. They want to censor everybody. They want to fucking monitor. I'll give you something to fucking monitor, motherfuckers. Outrage. Federal training manual refers to sick and nuclear workers as Freddy Krueger's. That was the Dayton Daily News, September 25, 2011. The atomic workers ridiculed in training manuals. See, they're, 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 they really are monsters, right? See how they do that? That's, that's truly monsters. If you go to a university, tell your fucking professor off the moral, if he's a nuclear physicist or a nuclear scientist. Tell him what kind of monster he is because he never spoke up. Tell him what kind of fucking creature he is and what kind of freak he is. Your next door neighbor's a fucking atomic energy employee. Tell him he's a fucking monster. Fuck them. They know. They're the fucking Freddy Cougars. So they can have a fucking job. Jesus, I went over the top tonight, didn't I? Physicist, unit two completely liquefied. Completely liquefied. Completely fucking liquefied. We've never seen it on this planet before. But oh no, Dana, there's no meltdown. And you go and you spam that on all the videos where people are actually put a lot of time and energy into it to have an accurate story and you come in with that fucking shit. I see the fucking PR firms out there and all the stories and all the videos and all the chat rooms. There's no nuclear reactor meltdown. You guys are stupid. That's what they say. These are someone's children. If that was my child doing that, I would break his fucking neck. Well, his leg, anyway. You can't have another human doing stuff like this. Right? We need a team of uh, expert forensic computer technicians to hunt all these fuckers down and identify them. Hack their webcams, get pictures of them, and let's expose them. Then get the hanging ropes out. Like, they gotta go. It's either them or us. And right now, it's looking like us. So at what point are you going to fucking stand your ground? At what point are you going to put your back to the wall? At what point are you going to say, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to lie down, loot all my assets, and try to stay alive for another couple of years. Your food in your supermarkets has all the nutrition engineered out of it. Do you think they don't know what they're doing at Kraft? Do you think all the supermarkets don't know? Do you think all these 
Governments, agencies don't know. There's no nutrients in your food. Of course they did. But they suppressed that just like they suppressed this. They're the most evil thing on the planet that would do this to us. That had done this to the Northern Hemisphere. They're worried about panic. I think you got a few other fucking things to worry about, buddies. Panic is the last thing you should worry about. You should be worried about what you look like in a fucking suit on your back. Because that's common. We've never seen it before in the history of nuclear power. 100% liquefications. We don't even know what the implications of that is. But if you know a lot about this stuff, it's the end of the world as we know it. And as they know it. Because they're guaranteed what I'm saying is going to come true. It's like fucking a nightmare. TEPCO blames spontaneous natural nuclear fission for radioactive xenon. There's a 14,000% increase in Krepton-85. Where the frick do you think that came from? November 3rd, 2011, Wall Street Journal. The media needs a rope just as bad as these folks do. They really truly do. Anger over TEPCO employee arrested after making prank phone call to TEPCO and he got anger. I got some anger tonight, I tell you. <laughs> fucking anger over having to eat radiation contaminated food. That's how, that's what kind of monsters they are. Guns might be illegal, but ropes are not. Right, so all the employees should have grabbed that that boss that time and strung him off. Fuck it. Fuck him. I'll tell you a story. There's a town down not too far from me. And they had uh, people like that in their community. And they couldn't take it one night. And they went up to when they were having a party. And they shot at the house and set it on fucking fire. With 400 of them. These people never threw a rock in their life or had a fist fight probably. And they burnt their homes. Then anybody ran out, they fucking shot them and threw them back in. So when the cops came out the next day, and this is a true story. And they said, anybody know who done it? 400 people showed up and said, we did. The cops went home. Because they would have been fucking next. And that's what it's coming down to right now. They can't stop us. We come for them. They can't fucking come near it. They can stop me, but they can't stop you. They probably will. I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. Fuck them. 10 million people in Japan have been abandoned in high radiation reactor after Fukushima. The whole fucking thing is extremely contaminated. I got studies down there that they knew the radiation clouds came here in Canada and they hit it. And it went to America and that they hit it. And at the same time, the local government officials are poisoning themselves, their children's, all of their loved ones, all of their families. They're too fucking stupid to be on this planet. They really are. They're the stupidest people imaginable. There's not one of them got any integrity. Not one of them stood up for us. Not one of them stood up for anybody in their countries. Not fucking one of them. Every one of them went and collected their paycheck on Friday. Ching, ching. See you Monday, George. Yeah. We are living to the worst public health scandal. The worst mass murderer in history. 60 million. Never mind. Former special advisor says Japan is too scared to tell the people about the Fukushima future. That's where we started off. Japan Times columnist was the second one, right? As the public possibly worldwide sickens over time, the truth will leak out. Let's accelerate that, shall we? For the record, I'm acting. Everything you heard tonight is me acting. And why I might agree with my acting, I'm not condoning that you go out and hang them all without a uniform effort right around the planet to do it at the one time. Or am I? You'll never know. Google haven't got a tattoo on me yet. So, I don't have to fucking say. Well, folks, got that out of my system. 300 more headlines to go. I'm sure that was horrible. Me screaming like a fucking banshee the whole way through. Sue me. There's not much I can do about it. 
I got some serious rage from these headlines today. I got madder. I'm so angry I want to pick that fucking computer up so many times a day and smash it. I really am. And some people say, Danny, you swear too much. Shut the fuck up, okay? I don't fucking tell you how to live your life. Don't tell me how to live my fucking life. Don't like it? Take a fucking hike. Nothing I can do about it. That's me. That's who I am. Once in a while I snap. And if you can't deal with it, tough fucking luck. I ain't your fucking baby. I ain't your fucking little pet. So fuck off. Just sensitivity. I don't got that problem. That's not who I am. I got anger right now because everybody I know now got cancer. Everybody I ever cared about got cancer. Everybody I love got cancer. Including my little doggy. Including all the children I see walking to school all the time. That rips me a fucking part every day. That drives me here every night. It will drive me every night. It's a rotten fucking thing when I realize that the people we put in power, the people we pay to do a job, abandon us and our loved ones and their own loved ones, their own friends, their own morals, their own ethics, their own conscience, and probably have to drink and drug themselves to sleep every fucking night to deal with it. So they can have a paycheck and they'll never get their pension. That'll never be around. They've done the opposite. The complete opposite the whole time they were in that job and the one time they had a chance to be a hero and they were fucking zeros of the worst type. These are not people you want in your community but they're in all of our communities and they fucking sold us out. I know what I'm doing about it. I'm, punch I'm pushing back and I'm not holding back. I'm not capable of holding back anymore. I can't hold back anymore. After that fucking dummy last night and the PR firms before that, I got no intentions of ever holding back again. Not even a little tiny bit. I don't give a fuck. I don't care, man. There's too many millions of people in the next couple of years are going to pay an unbelievable price. There's so many victims every day in Fukushima. The homeless, the destitute, and the marginalized in society that are being... Shanghai, because the real people that are supposed to do the job stole whatever they could and fucked off and then takes the most vulnerable of society and puts them in there to do the job. That can't be done by them. Some of these people can't even friggin' read. And they're supposed to go to the nuclear power plant and do the job that took a million in Chernobyl when there's three melter reactors in Fukushima and just go back to sleep and shut up. Better not say it to me. You better not say it to me. Because that'll be uh, hard to explain to your dentist the next morning. I'm so pissed off with people like this. But you got to realize they murdered Japan. They murdered them. Everybody. They murdered everybody. Same as Canada. Same as the Americans. They fucking murdered them. And it's a terrible murder. It's a horrible way to die. And we can't even get nutrition in our food. Because he engineered that out of us too. And then he looted everything for a handful of corporations. And this, this has to end. It's all going to end anyway, but we have to hold him accountable. There's things we can't change, but there are some things we can change. And getting rid of that fucking gene pool off this planet is a priority. Japan, America, Canada, the government, as far as I'm concerned, doesn't exist anymore. They stopped existing when they abrogated their responsibilities that we elected them and appointed them to do. They turned their fucking backs on their own loved ones and everybody in their country, every kid in their community, their own parents, their own brothers, their own sisters, everybody, so they can have a fucking pension, so they can have a paycheck. You won't be getting no respect out of me ever. That's never going to happen. And tomorrow night, we'll put on a happy face. And we'll come out and we'll challenge these fucking monsters again. 
and I got a whole batch ready to go for tomorrow night, and at least six more nights. We have to force this out there. They're not going to do their jobs. If one single mainstream media, huge alternative media, was to read all of these headlines in an hour like I'd done tonight and get it out to their people, we wouldn't have to do this. Right? So we have to become the media. And whether that's right or wrong, that's the way it is, I guess, because the rest of them won't do their jobs. I read through all the alternative medias, and they don't come out with it. That's why we exist. It's because we can't take it anymore. And the best thing to do is remember that it's us or them. There's no middle grounds here. There's no back doors to this. There's no getting away from the damage and the implications of what happened to the Philippines. Right? So we got to force this out there. Whether it's all of us, some of us, or any of us, somebody has to get it out there at some point in a very quick, not near, but quick future. Like if a big mainstream media would take these headlines and do something like this and get it out there. Like it'd be amazing. People would get, you would break the paradigm to pieces. You would snap that away. It wouldn't exist anymore. And then the whistleblowers would come out left, right, and center. But they can't come out when they don't got no support out there. And the media lies, and so they don't feel that they're able to come out because everybody's telling lies. So it's not like you say, I'm a whistleblower, but you know they're telling lies. How can you go to that, that media? When they ask what they do, and then they get the producers and executives to kind of lie. All of those fuckers got to be hung. That's it. That was their job to tell us that. Every fucking one of them, that was their jobs. None of them done it. All of them wants to talk about iodine. All of them wants to talk about cesium. None of them wants to say the words that fucking reactors run on plutonium and uranium. That's how stupid they are. Not stupid, but that's how uh, clever they are. That's how murdering happens, is that they, they use the wrong words to marginalize it, and then everybody's sick, including their own. This is I just can't get over that tonight. How can you do it to your own? How can you do it to your own loved ones, your children? Your parents, how can you do that? Do you really think this is not gonna, this is all just gonna blow over and it's all gonna be fine? It's just gonna get worse every fucking day. Sorry, folks. Bummer, I know. <sighs> That's it, you know? I'm basically making my resolve here tonight that uh, I got 90 days and now, now I'm getting pretty clever myself, so. I'll be working twice as hard for the video tomorrow night, three times as hard for the video next night. It'll be just like that every day until we fucking overwhelm them with the facts. That's just the way it's going to be.